I don't know if I'm in frame or not, but I, I don't care enough to check. Hello, you fabulous people, and welcome back to my fabulous part of the internet on my fabulous YouTube channel. Now, something you may not know about me is that I like to draw a little bit in my spare time. I'm not good at it, and I, I'm actually pretty bad at it, but I enjoy it, and it's fun. Now, usually, we use something called a drawing pad to draw, not this one, because it's bad. It's not that bad. It's okay, but probably, you know, if you've got the cash, get something better than the... The Wacom Intuos CTL 490W. You could probably do a little bit better. But there's there's one thing that's worse than a bad drawing tablet. And that is drawing with a mouse. It's very difficult. And I hate doing it. And so today I'm going to do it. And so you can watch me suffer. We're going to try and draw my favourite Pokemon. And maybe something else. And see how it compares to some other art. That people have drawn with mouses. So let's get into it shall we. We're here in Paint Tool Sai. Which is free if you know where to look. Um, and I don't know if my <laughs> video editing software is going to capture this at all. Because sometimes OBS has a little little stutters here and there. So we'll, I guess we'll soon find out, won't we? Um, but there is a little trick to drawing with pens, right? And I'm, I'm going to get into it now. So here we go. Okay, so this, is, this, this right here is called a stabilizer. Now you might be thinking, well, why don't you just put it up to the highest setting. Which I actually don't know what it is. And just draw. Because cause, like, you can't just do that. It doesn't work. It doesn't... It doesn't stabilize. If you're drawing on something like Adobe Illustrate, you can actually stabilize lines pretty well. And you can draw with a mouse, kind of. Still not really, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but you can kind of do it a little bit, and it, and it does work to some degree. I drew a picture of Haunter from, from Pokemon, who is also my, my phone case, uh, in, in college today. On Illustrate, and it looked pretty good. I don't have the picture, so I'm not going to show you it. And even if I did, it was probably pretty bad to the rest of you art fans. So yeah, anyway, the trick to this is ignore this layer. This layer is for colors or whatever. In fact, let's let's layer this. Let's, it's not working. Let's name this layer colors. I will probably forget I have this later and just try and color anyway because I don't use Psy that often and I, I get confused sometimes. But we want to make a new line art thing. Uh, if I did have a drawing tablet connected right now, I would sketch the thing first and then do line art afterwards. But I don't, so I'm, I, I'm not gonna. My dog is barking and it's really annoying. Uh, I'm also gonna do all of this without a reference picture because I think it's kind of cheating to have a reference picture, at, at least in a challenge like this where the whole point is the drawing is gonna, gonna look bad. Okay, so first up, I want something fairly thick. That's, uh, but yeah, I always make the mistake of having my uh, like my line art like this for example if I was doing a shape like this I always have that really thin and then I have no room to go any smaller to make smaller little lines like creases and clothing and stuff and it's, it's, it's actually a big issue I should probably learn to not do that but that it doesn't matter because today we're drawing fairly thick lines like thick boys like maybe maybe even a bit bigger than that here we go so we're gonna be drawing the Torchic which is my favorite Pokemon uh, fun fact and we're doing it all from memory, so this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna start with his little, uh, his little headpiece here. That you can get some pretty good, uh, like ideas of like curves and stuff from this. It's not perfect by any any stretch of the imagination, but you can definitely get some cool stuff going on. And if you want to like make it a more sharp line, you just finish the line like that, and then you can do different things that won't curve the rest of the line. We are gonna make this look a bit more real in a minute. Uh, because we're going to stretch some lines and make lines thinner and stuff to give it the illusion that we have drawn it on the tablet. Which we, as is the point of the video, we haven't. Ooh, that's that's not good. Um, I guess it would do. We can always make them thinner later, it's fine. I know he has, this one I'll make, this one I will make kind of scraggly. Because it's not as important. Now circles are, are the, the thing that are really annoying in this. Because I think there is a circle tool somewhere. But I think that would be kind of cheating a little bit. And also, I, I do want to kind of keep everything as line art. So we're just going to try and give the illusion of a circle, uh, which is going to be so very fun to do. So my dad's quite good at drawing. I don't know what happened, because his son clearly isn't. It's not the worst I've ever done. I've drawn much worse circles of line art. This kind of looks like... Um, or at least the inside of this looks a bit like that. What's this star Pokemon? I forget his name fake fan is what I am okay so now comes the body which in theory should be a little easier than the the head because it's not quite as circular wait is Torchic one of the ones that can be like a girl and a boy because I always thought Torchic was a girl but then I thought Blaziken was a guy I guess gender's a spectrum you can be whatever you want to be 
Now the feet are, are the, the parts I'm dreading massively. Just restarted the camera just in case it decided to have one of those days where it was like, <laughs> die. I'll do facial features because I'm going to put off doing the, the feet because I really, really don't want to do the feet. If you, could, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, by the way, that's fine. Just let me know. If you don't, then I won't because that would be a waste of time for everyone involved. Okay, it's a little bit thick, but what can you do? So her eyes are very circular and this is going to be super annoying. So I'm going to have to get super close to do this. But I know they're pretty... I don't want to draw like guidelines, so I'm not going to, even though that's probably what I should be doing as a not very good artist. I did it as. Wait, did I do it as. I oh, fucking did. It's okay, it's fine. I can. I can. <laughs> I can fix it. It's fine. I can fix it. I said I wasn't going to do any colour or anything. I've decided I'm not going to draw her claws because I'll look stupid. Um, but yeah. Okay. So it's been like an hour. Um, <laughs> it's really difficult to draw with a mouse as it comes. The lines are too thick. I probably could have, you know, fixed that. Um, it's impossible to draw uh Toshik's legs because they're too like weird and the anatomy is very strange and it's very hard to do with the mouse <laughs> um so I, I think I'm done this is it <laughs> oh I, I'm like somewhat ashamed that this is what I've created I had an hour and this is what I created oh god I'll, I'll let me at least put some some shading on it, so it's not a complete and utter waste of time. Uh, I don't know if I do my shading correctly, by the way. If anyone, I, I'm happy to be corrected, and if I do or not. Uh, I don't know if I want it to be all the way up here. Yeah, go on. Okay, what's what's, what's, what's happening? So I don't know if I, I'll do a deep blue, although I don't think that's going to work for this. I don't think that's going to fly, personally. And we'll do highlights and stuff as well later. Uh, I'm actually going to make a new one for high and low lights. Uh, it's not the worst. Definitely not the best either. This is so hard, but I didn't realize how hard this would be without a mouse. Okay, that's actually not too bad. I actually kind of like that. I, no, actually, I'm, I'm keeping like that. Okay, there we go. That's my Torchic. She doesn't have legs, so don't bother her about that, all right? She just doesn't have them. But that's my Torchic. Okay, I did all of that without a drawing pet. I, I realize I've been saying without a mouse. I meant with a mouse. I've been doing all of this without... Just so you know, look, this has been disconnected the whole time. I can draw better than this with this. So this is how bad it is because I just didn't use a, didn't use a pen. So this is it. This is Torchic. She has no legs. Be kind to her. I have to edit this video now instead of working on my college essay. So I hope you're all happy. Um, and yeah, please OBS, don't 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 be not recording because I will actually sob my little heart out if, if you're not. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, leave it a thumbs up anyway because why not? And I'll see all you fabulous people in the next video. Goodbye.